Hi everybody, Jonathan here with another Twin Motion video and very excited today to be sharing with you my first video on Twin Motion 2023.2, the final release. Now I've done a couple of videos on the preview version before, but I'm super excited to have a look at this final release with you and it just came out a few days ago. So I want you to have a quick look at the Twin Motion website or real time rendering. Um, you can get some information on this from my website and also from the Twinmotion website too. Now, if you would like to, you can scroll down. There's a really nice little video that Twinmotion have prepared. But let's just kind of take you through some of the new features that you're gonna find in the new version. And then I'm gonna open up some projects and do some demonstrations for you and show you how to use the software uh, actually live as well. Okay, so really one of the big new features that you're gonna notice is Lumen. And basically this is a new rendering technology that Unreal Engine has had for a while which has now been integrated into Twin Motion. So take a look at this video here. It's a really good example of what Lumen does. Basically, it calculates the light in real time without the need for ray tracing or path tracing. It really, really does speed up the workflow dramatically, but also increase the quality of your rendering and images superbly. As you can see in this lovely example, you're able to move lights around and things like um, open the lights and the shutters in this window and those have a, an immediate effect on the visualization preview. And remember, this is just a preview as opposed to the final quality render. So Lumen is the big, big feature by far. And honestly, it really has made a massive difference to the speed and the quality of the images that I'm seeing from Twin Motion. Now we've got a couple of other really cool features I want to talk about. And I really do like this one. It's basically the uh, animated FBX import for Twin Motion as well. And this is a really cool little video. It's just sort of showing some of the content that you can kind of import. Um, and if you're able to find animated FBX content online, or you know, generate it yourself via maybe some software that you're using like Blender or 3D Max, you'll be able to now import these with the hierarchies into Twin Motion and actually operate them beautifully, as you can see. So this is really gonna enhance what we can do in terms of creativity and the kind of stuff we'll be able to create. Okay, so next on, a very exciting feature, I haven't had a chance to test this one yet, but I would look forward to doing this soon, is the ability to use Adobe Substance materials directly in Twinmotion. Now, it's not as if we didn't have enough great materials in Twinmotion already. We had some amazing quality based materials, plus also things like the Quixel materials as well. But look, I'm not gonna you know, deny, it. it's always nice to have more. And obviously uh, lots of people like Adobe Substance for its renowned quality and integration and the ability to really sort of procedurally generate fantastic textures as you can see in this demonstration video here. So this is a huge feature. I'm definitely looking forward to getting into this at some point and we'll see how we get on in this video. Okay, another really nice aspect to Twinmotion is the new templates. You will notice there's some really, really nice ones for things like audio, uh, auto sort of rendering, visualization as well. If I was just scroll through a couple of these pictures, this was a demonstration of the Audi e-tron that Twinmotion have come up with. And you know, these are really, really nice sort of backgrounds with this white studio template. Okay, so you're also gonna find some really nice new improvements on the home panel with a lot more information about things like access to learning and demo scenes as well. So finally, there's a really nice big feature here, which has made a big difference, I think, to the workflow. You can now basically paint and scatter far more asset types than you ever were able to before. And in this lovely example, you can see here, um, we're basically painting using the uh, veg vegetation paint tool to basically attempt to paint some Quixel or Sketchfab assets. And basically that seems like a really, really cool feature to me that you can download these additional assets from Quixel or Sketchfab, drag them in and actually paint with them to really, really quickly work your scenes out. So very, very welcome addition. Now there's also a few other really nice features that I'll try and touch on. And one of these is the new camera view. And what this means is you can basically be working in the Twin Motion Editor, as you can see here, for example, dragging in a tree, but you might want to actually see that that tree is appearing in the camera view itself. And this was actually quite fiddly before. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be a big time saver for lots of people. When you're composing your scenes, 
Uh, you want to work in this sort of like bigger, wider picture view, but you really want to see the effect on that particular focused camera view. Very, very nice. Now there's quite a few other things as well, things like local exposure, and this is a nice one. In the, it just sort of shows the difference between before and after with the local exposure of the new sort of sunlight tool as well. Quite a subtle difference, but you know, definitely making a difference um, as you can see to the rendering quality. We've also got a couple of other nice improvements to things like transparency for water, improved particles for weather, and optimized glass. Now this glass looks amazing, as does the rain and the weather effects that we're getting. Really, really realistic. So I'm super excited about this and looking forward to trying it. Last but not least, we've also got a couple of other things through WebVR and Panorama sets. So maybe we'll check out those in due course. Now, please do remember you can get Twin Motion at the moment from my website, a real hyphen time rendering at basically a really great price. So don't forget this price is actually going up from the 31st next week. Um, so you really want to get this before it goes up. Now the price will be going up. Uh, I've got the price here, as you can see, at the end of the month it's going up to $750, which is about £620. So buying it from me uh, in the next few days, you'll get a really, really great deal on bundles. Plus, if you're on an older version of Twin Motion, any of the Epic versions will do. We can actually offer a really good value on an upgrade, and that is an amazing upgrade with a year of free updates as well of 2023. Well, everybody, in the interest of getting this video out for you as soon as possible, so you might be able to lock in those low prices before the price goes up on the 31st of August, I wanted to basically break down uh, the video into two parts, and I'll be doing the tutorial section in the next part of the video. So if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe and like, and as soon as it comes out, you'll be notified, and that'll be coming out in the next few days, I promise. So I look forward to seeing you in the next ones. Now, I'd like to just play out with the trailer and the teaser for Twin Motion and just let you know a bit of a commentary on my thoughts. But I am blown away by this new version and cannot wait to jump into it, and I'm sure you will too. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.